light. Quick, hide from banana and don't get eaten. Your beacon will glow when banana is near and complete puzzles to take time off a clock. So, the, I am a runner, I, aka a survivor. It is my job to survive until the end of a clock, which is six minutes. So my job is to survive for six minutes. Banana is here. So, at this point, puzzles are unlocked. It is our job to solve the puzzles and escape before Banana catches us. As you can see, I have a three life system, which means I, ha I can be eaten by Banana three times before I actually die. You know, three lives, three Banana bites, that makes sense. That is not always the case, and I will come back to that later as to why that's not the case. But our job is to survive, again, till the end of the timer. To help with that, you have the ability to take the puzzles and solve them. There are, I think, between four and six puzzles each map, depending on which map you're on. This is Banana Manor. It's a little bit smaller. Um, the one I'm holding right now is the cake puzzle. And with the cake puzzle, you have to just literally go around the building, find slices of cake, and bring them back to the biggest tray, which will be this one right here. I think it's... I want to say it's eight pieces of cake. It's either six or eight pieces of cake. I think it's eight. And when you complete them all, it'll take, I think it's, again, depends on how many puzzles are on the map. This one has four. Um, it's anywhere from 30 seconds to, I think, 60 seconds off the clock. But that's not the only challenge you have. The cake is uh, one of the easier ones. Because literally every room you go into, there's cake. It's not hard to find it. This is another one. This is a valve. There are three valve puzzles hidden around the map. For the puzzle to be complete, you have to get all three. However, when you solve it, as you've just seen, the um, little puzzle piece appears. That immediately alerts Banana to where you are hiding. So you do not want to stay in that position very long. As soon as you solve it, you want out of there. Or into a locker or somewhere that Banana will not be able to track you immediately. The thing we're going to talk about now, because it's already lighting up for me, is my backpack. Um, most backpacks are just single. They have a single eye in the middle, and they will turn from white to red. White means that nothing is nearby, and you are safe. Banana is not anywhere near you. If it turns red, like mine is right now, that means banana is very close to you, and you should probably be concerned. It'll, it'll start from anywhere from white and work its way up to red. If it's red and shaking, you had better skedaddle because he is right behind you. And you do not, do not stop running. Oh, do not stop running. Do not look behind you. Banana is right there. Right now, it's just red. I had a little bit of shake. Oh, it's shaking. Okay, and you can hear the sploot, sploot, sploot as Banana walks too. So that helps. Um, your backpack is your biggest indicator of where Banana is. Oh, hi. Please don't see me in here. I'm trying to give a monologue here. <sighs> okay. So, backpack will tell you where banana is. That is your biggest indicator. Use that to your advantage. Always keep an eye on your backpack. This is why it's good to... You can have a choice of going into first person. But it's better to stay in third so that way you can see the backpack. So you have an idea of where Banana is compared to where you're at. We're not moving from this locker. So we're going to talk about lockers while we're here. Lockers are your second biggest defense against Banana. Use them to hide. But also know, you, when you're in Banana's point of view, the three hearts that are at the bottom of the screen, you can see them right now on my screen, they are above your head. So if you are not careful and you're not ducking in the locker, Banana can see those three hearts. So you need to be very careful about that. Again, it's all depending on how you get into the locker. Um, this is a red banana. There are power-ups around the map. Good banana, bad banana. Red banana means banana can see you, but you can also see banana. So it's kind of a give and take method. This is not, and the thing about the bananas are, it's not always how it works. Half a time you'll get something good, half a time you'll get something negative. Oh, he is right down there. And there is no way to tell which one you're going to get until you hit it. The blue ones are, I guess it's not exactly true, blue ones are automatically power-ups. You're automatically going to be immune to being bitten for, I think, for five or ten seconds. This one is optional. I'm going to do it so you can see it. So now you can see Banana down there, but Banana can also see me for 30 seconds. So, we do not want to be standing still now that we've used that. You'll know when it's gone because you'll no longer be able to see where Banana is. 
So I'm gonna go back in here just for a minute to protect myself. I'll explain the other puzzles now that we're here. There's the cake puzzle. Oh, oh, oh boy, okay. Cake puzzle, which we already explained. There's a valve puzzle, which we kind of explained. You need to find all three valves. The puzzle's not completed till you get all three valves. Oh my goodness, where is he? And there is a map puzzle, which you're literally just solving the map. Putting the pieces into the right position. It'll turn green when you get them. That's a puzzle. There's a code. You have to find the code in one area and the the code square in another and put those numbers slash colors into it. It's not a difficult puzzle. And then you have to escape as we've just done. The trick about escaping, however, is that you have three lives when you start the game. When you hit one minute and the door is open, as they just did, then your three lives go down to one and you have to get out without getting eaten there's no second chances there's no second lives you have one chance to get out and one chance only so you cannot blow it all right now as you can see i am the banana for round two now this roll is not I don't want to say it's not as hard but it's really not as difficult as being a survivor Basically, obviously, your job is to go around and stop people from solving puzzles. That is a map puzzle that you click into the right place and they turn green. Your job is to stop the runners from escaping. To do that, you have to run into them. It's, it's, you don't even have to click. You just run smack dab into them and it will take a bite off of them. You have to hit them three times, but as soon as you bite them, they have immunity. I think it's... You have several seconds of immunity when you can chase them, but you cannot bite them again. Until that blue aura goes away, you cannot bite them again. At one minute, the doors will open, and then you are down to one life. They are down to one life, I should say. And it makes it a lot easier. Your best time to get people is the one minute mark. That is the code we were talking about earlier. I always find the code, so you'd have to find the big version of that hidden somewhere around the map. Um, again, the red bananas, if you hit them, will, t oh, if the player hits them, will tell where you're at, but it'll also allow you to see them, which is, is a very big, helpful hint when you're trying to find people and you can't find anybody. Also, you'll hear the sound effect for a puzzle being solved, and that will, again, tell you for about 10 seconds where the puzzle was, so you have a chance to get close to them. Normally, I would not say that's your best shot because people do not tend to stay at the puzzle. If they know better, they're not going to be at the puzzle. So you, you won't have a chance to get them. But if you're across the map from them, you won't have a chance to get there. If you're near them, you have a chance. And I would check the lockers around. And, like, always check the lockers around the puzzle. Especially if there's another puzzle nearby. Because there is a chance that they are hiding nearby to camp the rest of the puzzle. It's a very common strat in this game. It's not a bad thing to check the lockers. And now we actually have to find people so we can munch on them. There are other things for other modes, such as Banana Split and infection, um, each of which have their own set of rules. Basically, um, there's always puzzles you can solve. It always takes the timer down. But in infection and banana split, you do not have to escape. You merely have to survive until the time limit. The difference is infection is, as you might imagine, an infection round, where it's literally, you eat somebody and they become a banana. It's, it's as simple as, whoa, I'm, I, I got eyes. I got eyes, she can see me. Okay, where is she? I'm not sure right off that was the very ending. I, I didn't even notice that right away. But infection is simple. You infect somebody and they help you hunt. It's, it's, it's a zombie infection. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. Your job is only to survive until the end of that game. I don't want to say hiding in your lockers is the best shot to survive that. But hiding in lockers is the best way to survive infection. So long as you pick a locker that not everybody is around. Like I would not paint, pick a main locker as your hiding spot. I would pick something off to the side like this one, like the like, not in the main alley. Maybe one of those, but those are really close to where the exit would be normally. So something a little less. One of these. I would pick one of these as a hiding spot because it's not out in the open. It's not gonna be like a banana turns around and goes right towards it. You have a chance to escape with that. And banana split is the last mode that has come out. It is similar to escape, which is the normal mode. However, there are two bananas chasing you. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's two bananas chasing you. Exits open in one minute. And again, you do not have to escape. Escape is the only mode in which you have to escape. But banana split has a twist. 
is all fun and games, just like normal, unless a banana leaves. If a player who is a banana leaves the game, the screen literally highlights bananas. How high? Bananas have split. The one remaining one banana is left, and it is mad and fire and on fire. That's not exactly the wording, but it is literally a banana on fire. It is twice as fast, and it automatically cuts the timer down whatever time you have left on the timer. It could, if it's right at the beginning of five minutes, then you you'll immediately cut it down to a minute, or a minute and a half, depending on how far along it is. But what you want is either to get rid of one of the bananas. Like if one of the players leaves, um, you then have to deal with the fiery banana, which is, in a sense of the word, easier to deal with. It's also harder because they are twice as fast. I forgot to mention this. When your banana and the escape time comes up, you can see exactly where the exits are and where the people are. So that's a good help. And back to banana split. So, you have a chance of either having two bananas or one really fiery angry banana if one leaves, and your timer gets cut down to immediately one minute. Which is amazing if you're sitting at five minutes and you, you they're like cornering you, but it's, a, it's actually more difficult, and banana split is one of the more challenging modes, other than probably infection. Infection is probably the hardest, at least in my opinion. But yeah, that's the basics of surviving Banana Eats. Everyone has their own little techniques and tricks to it. You can hide beside lockers. You can hide in places. Every single map has places you can hide in if you know where they are. There's nine maps to pick from, so there's a lot of places to learn how to hide. Find out what works best for you, and then stick with that. Everybody has their own strategies. Like, my strategy is if I'm doing a no locker challenge, to hide beside a locker. Or somewhere that you're... Not everything here is solid. That's probably the best way to explain it. Also, you cannot solve puzzles until the time, until the banana arrives. Um, not everything here that looks solid is solid. There are things you can hide in and behind and beside. You just have to know where. Oh! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, so yes, find what you're good at. Stick with it. And it makes the game a hundred times easier. And now I'm going to go back to running for my life and finding my own hiding spot. You guys find what you do best. Let me know in the comments what your techniques are for winning this game. And I will see you on the next run. KW5, out.